Moyne is getting answers about why a wild animal park in Canby continues to be closed to the public. The Clackamas County Code Enforcement Team has been working with the facility for more than a year, but time is running out for them to do some upgrades and repairs. Our Tim Becker has been working on this story, and he joins us now with what you've learned today. Yeah, well, the owners at A Walk on the Wild Side, it's called, tell me that they're really scrambling right now to meet some March deadlines recently given to them by the Code Enforcement Team in Clackamas County. They think they aren't being given enough time, but I sat down with county officials today and they say the wild animal refuge has had plenty of time to come into compliance with several code violations they found on site. No, no more people. No one on the property. No one on the property. They don't care who you are or what your reason is. They're Workers at this home to both farm and exotic animals wonder how for seven years they were able to charge visitors for an up-close look at and to learn about everything from tigers to turkeys and why tents and tarps long used to shelter some animals are no longer acceptable. That's why I want answers why all of a sudden it's no longer okay. The place was not safe is what you're saying for the public. Correct. Andrea Hall is the Clackamas County Code Enforcement Officer who's been working the case. She tells me the list of violations she recently sent to the animal park have been known to its owners since last June and some even before that. This has been going on for over a year now uh, and the county staff's been very actively engaged with the property owners in trying to get find a resolution to the issue because we know that they've invested a lot in this property. The county's paper trail on the case dates back to November of 2013 when they first told the park it could no longer charge for entry or allow any public on site because the land is zoned strictly for agricultural use. One of the issues with this property is that I don't think there's a zone out there that they could change to that would allow this. <laughs> on site, the county says there are still structural, electrical and safety issues that need to be addressed. And the owners tell me they'll start in earnest this week, but it's costing money they don't have, so they've started a GoFundMe site to help. Even when they come into compliance with all these, these building codes and, and whatnot, they will never be able to open as a zoo on that location again, a, a, as a place where people pay to come and see the animals, no matter how safe the area? Not to my knowledge. And that's because of the zoning, zoning. the Correct. agricultural zoning? Correct. Well, the park still makes money from off-site education programs, but the owner figures they've lost about $50,000 in revenue already from being closed to the public. The county is allowing them to open for their annual Halloween event. That's for the whole month of October, but that's only if they get all the other things up to code. So they've been there for seven years, but now yeah, finally more than seven. the complaints just stacked up where the county said we got to yeah. do something about it. The this? county didn't respond because nobody had complained officially. Mm -hmm. uh, when someone did complain, it was November of 2013. That's when they first went in. Uh, and then they found all the other violations. Well, certainly a story that will continue to follow then. Absolutely. Tim, thank you yep, for that. Time.